There we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Gamer Alex. Welcome to Haunted Horror Stories Pilot Gone with the Wind. This is a game made by Spring Rabbit. We played one of your games on the channel a while back called West Grove. It was really creepy, really well done. And it seems that they plan on doing like an episodic thing here, because even though it doesn't say pilot on here, on the itch.io page, it is specifically called Haunted Horror Stories Pilot. So, let's see what kind of haunted horror story we're going to get. Let's go! I'm ready for things to get creepy! Did I just get a message? No. The following content has not been audited or reviewed by any regulatory agency and may be improved for some audiences. Become an independent production by... Oh, do I need to press something? Ooh. Spring Rabbit. From production sponsors, I am Black John. As a ween, I go. Ooh, missing persons. That's never a good thing to see. News producer MXSN. KC Luna. Nice. From an anthology horror series. This is the first one because it's called Pilot in the, in the, in the itch.io page, so this has to be like the first one. Haunted Horror Stories Gone with the Wind. So yeah, this is the first one in a series. Can't wait to see how this is gonna go. What is on the rooftop? Like a weird looking satellite dish? Hmm. Let's see what's going on inside this house. What's that? I think this outfit is fine. Maybe mom can lend me one of her lipsticks. She must be downstairs in the kitchen. Well, this gave me some like classic slasher vibes. Like this feels like Halloween. Friday the 13th and maybe a few others. I'm guessing this probably said like the what, 80s possibly? 80s, 90s? Desk. Oh, I had to press E. This is my study table. Nothing interesting here but boring books. Picture. This is my best friend Chloe. She moved with her parents to Brazil a few months ago. We still exchange letters from time to time. Yep, this is definitely like <laughs> this is this is takes place in the past. And they're exchanging letters. Also, I see the Dracula by uh, Bram Bram Stoker over there in the back. <laughs> backpack. This is my backpack. It's not time to leave yet. What, are you going for a camping trip? If you tell me you're a camp counselor, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> I swear, if you tell me you're a camp counselor, I am going to laugh. There's always room for one more neon leggings. <laughs> hey, you do you. <laughs> now let's go find your mom to get that lipstick. Table. Just some fashion magazines. Ah, I know absolutely jackedly nothing about fashion. I'm literally wearing... Wait a minute, I just realized I'm wearing a Halloween uh, t-shirt I got from a... Uh... I think I got from Walmart. Yeah. Halloween. T-shirt, the original poster for the Halloween movie. Which one by John Carpenter. Great movie. It's locked. Oh, no. And this is clutter. Okay. It's definitely not it. This one? Don't need to use the bathroom right now. Okay, that's the bathroom. Can we go through the black abyss over here? Yep, we just have to go through it. So you said that she was downstairs. Where is she? Is she in the kitchen? No. Is she in the... Looks like there's a note on the fridge. Good morning, Emily. Your father and I had to leave early for our article meeting. We'll be back home later. Please put the VCR on record my favorite show before you go to school. There's a blank tape in our room. I left the key under the microwave. You know why I keep it locked up now. I want to avoid confusion after the $20 incident. Love your mom. $20 incident. Um... Uh... 
Oh, I can't press escape. I was about to say, am I stuck? I don't want to be stuck here. Give me the key. Who hides a key underneath a microwave? I feel like that just risk bad things happening. Okay, so we gotta use the key to get to one of her rooms. Grab the blank VCR. VHS, I mean. Plug it to VCR so record whatever favorite show. Kind of show what they watch. Is it the original Twilight? Twilight Zone, I mean. That's the bathroom. Wrong door. It's this one on the right. In front of yes, Twilight Zone is literally the oldest show I can think of on top of my head. Because that one started in the 50s. <laughs> Sarah's bedroom. She must have gone to work. Okay. I think I pressed the wrong button. Let's try this door again. I think I pressed left click instead of E. It's locked. Can I use my inventory? I can. Okay. I like this. This aesthetic is really nice. Drawers. Nothing important. Where's the VHS? The blank is not in there. Is it... In this one? No. There we go. Click the blank tape. So it's according to your favorite show. I'm going the wrong way. I'm realizing that now. I'm going the completely wrong way. Because I'm guessing the live room's probably like this way. <laughs> it's over here. So we got played. Did play this? Oh, but that's a fireplace. Here it is. We spend most of our time with. Maybe I'll become an actress and appear on TV shows when I grow up. Hey, you do you. Done. The Women's Home Companion presents A Word to the Wives. I'm starving. I better get something to eat. Then let's head back to the kitchen. Wait, is there something on the desk over here? Newspaper. Two weeks ago, the missing Tyler Lee returned to his home on Sunday afternoon. In his statement to local authorities, Tom Lee did not even know his own name, age, parents' name, or any memory his entire life. Doctors found no injury of any energy in injuries of any kind, and believe it was some kind of post-traumatic stress. Hmm. Last night, the bodies of his parents, Benjamin Ailey, were found in his own bed of sledgehammer wounds to the head. Oh. According to witnesses, Tyler left through the front door minutes after they heard screams. Tyler, who has not been found since the incident, has become a prime suspect in the case. Oh, now this is definitely like 80s horror movie style. Because that sounds like Invasion of Body Snatchers. Actually, it also sounds a bit like Us. Jordan Peele's Us. Which is not 80s horror movie that came out recently. Hello? Seven days. Seriously, you're making a ring reference right now? A ring reference. Seriously? What? I'm just playing with you, idiot. Yeah, I kind of guessed that, because I was about to say, you're literally making a rings reference on me here. Come on. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Why did you call me? No, it hates me. I just want to know if you're going to school today. It's been a week since you and Andrew... Yeah, I'm a little better now. If this is any help, Andrew hasn't shown up for a long time either. He doesn't even answer Tyler's messages. Oh, they both knew Tyler. Must have regret having said those things. I don't want to talk about it, okay? All right, girl. How are your sister doing? I haven't seen her for a long time. Sarah's fine, at least I think so. She's so busy at work, we can hardly talk anymore. Come on, honey. Line up bit. He and the girls will stop at the diner to gossip after school. I'm just finishing my homework and work. Mr. Williams asked us to write a text about some American historical figure. If I told you some shit. Sam, I'm going to end up failing history. You are a smart girl. I think you can finish it in time. Alright, I'll run to my bedroom and try to finish this shit as fast as I can. 
Okay, bye bye. Well, I guess we're not eating yet. It looks like we have some work to do. I had to write an essay on basically a historical person. Who are you going to choose? Are you just going to go to easy round to someone that everyone has done an essay on, like Abraham Lincoln or something? Uh, which way is the room again? This way. It's over here. Using typewriter. Where did the sheets of paper go? They must be in my bedside table. No, not not that. Oh, bedside table, the other side. There we go. EM hearts. Oh, there's another one fucking piece of paper scribbled here. Some sheets of paper in our old guest room. M plus Ann, Emily plus Andrew. Sounds like they really had a bad breakup. Old guest room. Is this the guest room? No, this is Sarah's room. Uh, which one's guest room then? Oh, must be one on the left. So far, nothing really horror has happened yet. Looks like a maze, especially the cameras. Looks like someone used a paper as a support for the camera. I don't think I won't mind if I take this. Um, if you do that, that's probably gonna fall and break. Like the papers. Mistakes have been made, huh? Well, just gotta go around. There we go. We got the paper. And now we can write our little essay. There's always someone at the front door. Probably the bird again. Oh, here we go. Use. Got the papers. All right, now I just need to write, start writing and the ideas will flow. Sadly enough, it doesn't always work like that. Oh, I have to type something? Uh... Oh, I, I press A. Okay, so it's doing it for me. Oh, it's... Yeah, it's just Thomas Jefferson. So if I just do... <laughs> People at, at uh... IT just working. Oh. Then I was already at the end there. That's all you're gonna write? Thomas Jefferson is an important figure in the history of the United States. He was one of the founders of the country who played a key role in the the Declaration of Independence in 1776. I mean, you're right, but like... I guess that's a good, like, starter. I'm late, I need to get my backpack and go... Oh, that's all you're gonna write? Eh, at least you'll probably get, like, a C. I've seen worse. I've seen a lot worse. Especially for someone who I think is a high schooler, I'm guessing? Now, I'll say again, if you go to a camp and it turns out you're a camp counselor, I'm going to laugh. But where are you going? Just on like a trip somewhere? Out the door we go. It's like getting close to evening. So where exactly are we going? Just mosey on down, I guess. Cause I don't really know where I need to go. Do 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 do. Dang, I missed a bus. I need to turn in my homework today. Oh, okay, you're not going on a trip or anything, you're just going to school. Duh, Alex. Is that to walk to school? Dang. So wait, did they turn this way to the school? Mm. I don't know how long this little uh, 
pilot's going to be. Could be long, could be short. Let's see how things go. I'm gonna take a shortcut if I don't want to be late. There must be one just ahead. Ah. The shortcut of death. I heard glass breaking. Anything okay? Oh, that's just a trash can falling. Some idiot boys are knocking over trash cans again. Is it today's newspaper? Meteorologists say there is a huge instability near the Shadewood region. Strong thunderstorms have become more frequent in the region. The number of disappearances also seem to increase to the same extent, making this a curious fact. <gasps> Excuse me, I apologize. Even though the disappearances locations are varied and dis even distant, they all have one thing in common. They always occur on stormy days. In an interview to Chief Police, Michael Brown, he said, This is a totally irrelevant fact at the moment. There's nothing useful we could do with this information. You want me to move all my cops on stormy days to find the rain abductor? Our porter questions this statement and the police chief of police of Shadowwood replied with a sarcastic tone. Who knows, maybe the wind blew them away. Wow, you are... I saw that. I saw like a kid just run by. Okay. Because that's not creepy at all. The specials. I do wish I had like a map or something to make this easier. Oh, I think I see the school. I'm guessing that's the school. Nope, uh, that's an invincible wall. What is that on the left? Um... Is that a hand? I see a long white arm with looks like needles for fingers? And it just moved away. Okay... What kind of creature are we dealing with? So this is... Okay... I was expecting that. I can't go for this way. But y'all saw that hand as well, right? I know it's not just me who saw that. Okay, so we're near the- we're in the actual town itself. Just doing a lot of walking. Four facts. Huge. Sail, sail, sail. What kind of town do we live in? What's it called? Springwood? I guess it's a missing person's photo there. Or that's supposed to be Tyler. Are you near to school at all? This is just kind of a lot of walking. Car show. Oh, yep. I feel sorry for the families of these people. Yeah, the people went missing during the storms. It seems they have put up more posters since last time I was here. Oh, well, if every storm someone disappears, then of course there's going to be a lot of people. Javier Gonzalez, 18 years old. Wait, last seen May 8th. Actually, May 17th here. That person looked just like me. Oh, this is an us situation. Is this why? Okay, is this an us situation? No, that wouldn't ex Wait, no, that wouldn't explain the arm. No, it... Is it an invasion of the body snatcher situation? Maybe the people who go missing their storms are taken, replaced by a monster who looks like them. Hence why there's no why they have no memories of their own name, families, right from that, because it's a monster pretending to be them. Until they get the opportunity and then they kill the people that they're with. So either some sort of 
invasion to buy snatcher situation or or a changeling could be a changeling i mean sure doppelganger is also an option so doppelganger changeling or invasion of the body snatchers it's gotta be one of them whenever a storm happens someone goes missing that person gets taken by the monster hey you <laughs> are just like me yep you're the monster Disguise yourself like me so that I can go missing and you take my place so you can do killings. You're not us. The only difference is that you're wearing the shoes that's kind of out of fashion. Do we know each other or... How strange. Who is that girl? That's not a girl. That's a monster pretending to be you, about to try and take your identity. They probably commit some killings or feast. No, Tyler's parents were killed with a sledgehammer, so just killings. But that's why I think it's going on. Doppelganger, Changeling, or Body Snatchers. That's what I'm getting from this. Ah, I'm liking this. <laughs> this is indie game already just theorizing like I'm mad at here. <laughs> from my knowledge of monsters. And 80s and 90s horror movies. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I'm a bit tired still. Are we at the school yet? What is this? Like a giant door? Wait. Must be Sam with the girl who's trying to play a trick on me. Must be why she called me earlier. That crazy bitch. Nope. No, that's a monster trying to look like you to lure you away so that you can go missing. But then turn up again with no memories just to do some killings because it's a monster who takes your place. I know my horror movies. Hello. Oh, you fell for the trap. Yep. You've been lured. Why? What? Okay. I thought she was trying to lure you in there so she can kill you, make you go missing, and take your place. So that she could do killings, but she kind of just left there. This isn't funny. Okay. But that's still my best bet. Doppelganger, Body Snatcher, or Changeling. Wait, there's something over here. Brew Driver. Collected screwdriver. A. Hey. That's going to be very helpful. Hopefully. It's locked. A nail prank store. And very difficult to pull out. There we go. You almost got him. I look for any drawers or anything? No. Rusty fridge. Extremely rusty refrigerator. Must have been empty for a long time. Where's crack lead? cabinet oh lore or not i guess thanks for the old key lore no great <laughs> i thought it, i thought those papers are gonna be like lore nope i'll pull off by myself uh, i don't think i have anything i can pull it off so we'll go back the way we came through the hole and then use the old key on uh that one locked door Here we go. Floor. Note. This shed is not the best place to conduct experiments. But it's all I command for the money I left. I still have a research report that I may save some computers and equipment before the bank took them away. I believe that's what takes her up Kate the event one more time. The press will again see me as a brilliant scientist I I that I am? Oh, no, this is just a changeling of Body Snatcher or Doppelganger. This is an experiment. A scientist created some sort of creature that can change into other people to lure them out, make them go missing, then reappear with no memory. 
because because the monster took their form and is actually the one who takes their place and then it does killings because that's what happened to Tyler he went missing from the store I'm guessing he saw a guy who looked just like him turned out to be a monster monster kills him then the monster takes his place reemerges no memories then kills Tyler's parents and then just leaves to do its next to get to its next victim which is us apparently that is what I believe is happening lore wise man I love this game <laughs> I love it I'm over here just theorizing just having a blast doing it probably because I love good story I love good lore if it's done really well I love it my mind's already thinking of like multiple different theories and such Right, cutters, bada bing, bada boom, snip. And move out of the way. And open the door. What we got, what we got over here. Plus these fixed camera angles remind me of a lot of games. A lot of older games. I mean, I am playing the first Silent Hill game and that came out in 1999. So, I know my retro horror games. Power panel. Seems to be very old panel. I guess that has not worked for a long time. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Oh yeah, this is a secret lab. They are making doppelgangers and or clones here that are, are actually monsters trying to take our place. Maybe everything in life has failures. Is the universe a creation without errors? Is it impossible for any anomaly to exist? I've asked myself these questions my whole career. I thought I would be happy when I found the answer, but honestly, I would give anything to forget about it. I can't find any sense after this discovery. A universe full of failures is what it is. Several openings are emerging in the city. Maybe we are all doomed and in. I brought them all to ruin. Wait, what? Oh, several openings are emerging in a city. So wait, this scientist, he didn't create clones or doppelgangers or whatever. Did he actually create openings like another world? Like some HP Lovecraft type of crap? <laughs> I don't know how, why, but that actually scared me. What was that? I think that was some sort of portal or something emerging. So I'm guessing that's what the scientists did. Must create some sort of portal. It's broken. Are we going to be going to the same city or are we somewhere else now? It's storming. Oh no. Oh, I think I get it. I think I get it. I think I get it. The scientists somehow created portals to either hell, another dimension, something like that. Basically create portals to the upside down, kind of like in Stranger Things. But every time a portal is open, an opening happens, that creates a storm. Kind of like in Stephen King's The Mist. I'm guessing this portal, when the storm happens, the people go missing from it. Go missing from the monsters that come out from the opening that the scientists created. I'm guessing sooner or later, those openings are going to get bigger and bigger and more monsters, I'm guessing, are going to be coming through. I'm guessing that's a human scarecrow over there. That is my theory about what is happening here. I, I don't know why, but scarecrows are legitimately one of the most unselling things to me for some reason. This is a good-ass job. Nah, ever since I was a kid watching those old Goosebumps episodes of Scarecrows. Nah, nah, that ain't it, Chief. Harold from Scary Stories Tell the Dark. That ain't it, Chief, that ain't it. Or maybe that's not actually Scarecrow. Maybe that's the monster from the openings itself. That's this random house has steam coming out. Steam coming out, chimney, Smoke coming from his chimney, so some sort of fire is going on in there. Oh, so it's just me or this kind of look like Monster House from, well, the movie Monster House. Have you ever seen that movie? Jeez, I just keep on referencing all these movies. Makes you just want to sit down and watch these movies. They're good movies. What can I say? I like movies. Hello, is anyone there? I need some help. I can't stay here alone. Maybe there's a phone inside. The door seems to be open. It's our house, isn't it? No, it's not. It's not. I was about to say, is this like the upside down version of her house? 
it's kind of like how in Stranger Things, Upside Down is like the alternate version of the real world, another dimensional version of it. Because I'm guessing that's why I fought this with at first, but no, that's not the case. The layout is different in the kitchen. Why are we going in a basement? I hope this is Halloween decoration. May this kill be useful for something. Um, you see, whenever it's you try and guess if something is a Halloween decoration, that's usually when it's not a Halloween decoration. I'm guessing that that is actually Tyler. Or Javier. Either way, that's not a Halloween decoration. I heard a sound. There's no phone in here. That's blocked. Gotta head upstairs, huh? No, it's blocked. We only got one door left to go. Guessing it's gonna be locked and we need to use the key. Locked. Okay, what about this one? Stuck. Turn on stuck, maybe rusty. Okay, there's only one door and it's locked, and we have a key. Which means strange key. Oh boy, what's in here? There's a note. Paper. I'm not even sure how long I've been here. Time seems to work differently in this place. Yeah, it's the alternate dimension. She got transported to an alternate world. Through an opening. Hope this note finds one unfortunate person who finds himself in this place. Maybe it's another planet, universe, dimension. This place is not bad in essence, but all the bad things are here. So yeah, it's like the Upside Down from Stranger Things. Things that the human mind is incapable of understanding are stuck here. This place seems more like a prison or a discard area for the failure of creation. Okay, maybe it's going from Stranger Things to more of Lovecraftian. Was this place created? Was it always here? These things can't get out of here, but that parasite has arrived and it can... And that thing disguises itself and replaces an entity from the primary world. Yes, that's the one we kept seeing. If that is your case, you belong here now. Nobody will work, look for you. Yep, because that parasite is now in our world pretending to be us until it kills our parents and then chooses its next victim. What was that? Oh no, cabinet? Oh, cabinet seems to be empty. Great. Mattress. This thing's locked. Does someone sleep here? Oh god, we gotta leave. We're probably about to be killed, aren't we? Oh god, I guess we need to go outside. And we're probably gonna get killed if we do. Whoa, okay, yeah, this really did become very Lovecraftian. Very Lovecraftian. For, for an indie game, geez, this pilot is really good. I like it. Give me some real Lovecraftian feelings here. I like it. I like it a lot. Personally, we don't really got that many Lovecraftian related. Well, we got a lot of Lovecraftian related games, but they tend to be bad in quality. Except for like one or two. I guess Scarecrow isn't there anymore. No, but that thing is. What is that? Haunted horror stories gone with the wind. Oh, that was good. That was basically Lovecraftian almost. So, okay. So, like I said, this was... This is going to be a series, and I'm very interested to see this, because I got my theories. My main one is that, like I said, this scientist created an opening to another world. One day he got stuck in, got killed, but a, in this world it's full of monsters, and it's specifically a parasite that can go into the primary world, and pretend to be human, the lower person into the opening of the other world, so that a monster could take that place in the primary world, 
and then kills the people who are close to it in the primary world. Then it goes out to try and take its next victim. Yep, we're probably about to see our character, but it's actually the parasite pretending to be us. Yep, that's not us. That's the parasite. That's the parasite. And it's about to try and kill probably uh, her parents. Yep, her feet. She's not wearing the white shoes that she was. Dreams, desire, and choices gone with the wind. Yep. And that parasite's probably going to kill the character's family and then just turn to another person so I could do it all over again. Okay, it eggs out the game, but man, that was so good. Spring Rabbit, my god, that was amazing. Seriously, that was just amazing. Let me, let me read out what it actually says on each I I completely forgot. Haunted Horror Stories is an anthology horror series. All my next horror, short horror games will be linked to it. Even if only implicitly. It's gone away, single player. Yep. Okay, so it's not a uh, linear series. It's an anthology one. So the next one is still going to be linked to it, but not probably completely. So I'm guessing, like, the next game might not have to do anything with, like, the other world or the parasite. It might, might not, who knows. But Spring Rabbit, this game was really good. I can't wait to see which ones you make next for this series. I am very intrigued. And this was really good. I liked it a lot. But for now, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe since it supports me and the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, do leave it in the comments down below. But until then... I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome.